Hi guys, I'm actually on my way to school. This today is our first day of second semester. This is what I look like in uniform. That's my ID and this is my uniform. Of course, that's my bag. See you at school. <laughs> I am just going to eat. I am very hungry. I haven't eaten lunch yet. And because I was just very busy at school, we were trying to figure out our, our class section and our schedule because we still don't have our final um, schedule. But we were told by the dean earlier that our schedule will be finalized tomorrow hopefully and anyway i'm just going to eat i'm so hungry now that's meat um pepper garlic i don't have onion i couldn't find any onions and white pepper soy sauce and olive oil and my veggies right here I just recently bought this earlier. Um, this is a, uh, I this was one thousand five hundred, and this 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 fan right here it was, I mean this pan, it was over seven hundred peso. So anyway, I'm now going to start cooking. I still haven't eaten my lunch yet, so. I just finished um, cooking my vegetables with pork meat and that is the printed finished product wait I'm going to show you <gasps> it's too full it's hard for me to to scoop This is what this is what Grace's um veggies looks like. <laughs> oh. Hello guys, good morning. I actually just woke up and it's already 7.50 in the morning. Um I still don't have my schedule for my um class. It still haven't gotten finalized yet. So right now I'm just here inside my room of course and I am going to prepare my breakfast. So I have um pancake with me right here. I just need to add um eggs, um tablespoon tablespoon of oil and I have um olive oil right here and also water and cheese we have cheese right here and yeah just cheese and i also have eggs which we're going to add on the pancake and my pancit canton i also have um sausages right there anyway i'm now going to prepare my breakfast
So guys, I just actually finished um, cooking or making my breakfast. We have here the pancit canton, it's still hot. And also the longanisa. And the uh, chorizo cebu. Chorizo de cebu actually. And of course my pancake. So anyway, this is um crazy breakfast boarding house edition. It's spicy. Anyway, I'm just going to finish my breakfast because I actually have some topic that I'm going to discuss. I also found um, a question. This question is from a guy. He's, um, he's asking about my perspective about this certain topic. That's why I am going to discuss it to you guys. Let me just finish my breakfast. Wait, I'm just going to show this. <laughs> this is actually my, my son's favorite and this is also my favorite drink. What my son likes is also what I like. <laughs> My inner child is probably enjoying a kid's um, drink. So I am now going to answer that question. That question was actually from this career of the world. This question was, Chrissy, I'm curious as to what advice and cautions you would give to a province girl before she marries a Westerner. Um, I'm just going to I have four answers for his question so the first one is firstly you should um, actually I have it all written down so I will forget anything so firstly I So firstly, um, it is also really important that you should know that um, marrying foreigners is um, pro um, it's um, different than having a Filipino boyfriend because um, they, they won't really shower you with surprises, flowers, um, especially every occasion. Um, but no, but we also have to take note that not, that every person has different love language. And as for my husband, last time he actually surprised me today for my birthday, and I was really, I was happy about that. I was mm -hmm. thankful for him. And uh, and also for the the thing for for Timoy is he really loves to to gift me with gadgets. This one he just recently bought my computer because I got mine broke. I mean, it wasn't working at all. We, we brought, I mean, he took it to, to a shop to get it fixed. But unfortunately, it, we were told that, well, the cost for, for fixing my old computer was, it was over 50000 or or over $1,000. That's why Tim just decided to get me a new one, but, we we didn't he couldn't get this right away we had to save money because you guys know that we have a lot of expenses so yeah every person has different love language and that's the first one that i want her to know the second one is this the second one expecting to check every receipt and they'll track every money you spend um you're lucky if they'll give you money but this case this never ha this never happens to me it's true this never happens to me but um every time i go to burgos there are oh, shop owners they always tell me oh you're really lucky because your husband's giving you money to buy stuff and all because um she said i mean they're telling me that most of their clients that are married to foreigners the the foreigners are the one the foreigners are the one paying for all the stuff that is even even if it's not that too much it's not that expensive like foreigners are paying for it they're not giving any money to their wives so this um i've only heard this um so 
tip. So what, for my case, actually Teams gives me money that is good for a month. And we, we're just going to budget a little bit. And he just lets me handle the money, the budgeting of the money. For example, that's going to give me money for electricity, um, for water, and to pay for the maid. That's how it does. And he also gives me money for, for buying groceries that is good for a month at home. Yeah, that's just, um, that was just, that was the second one. So, na number three. You sh this is really important for me. Um, she should be independent and not always rely to his husband. Like, at least have a work. Not all foreigners will just feed you even if you're, even if you're, even if they're your husband. For my case, for my case, although I have a small channel, but I still make um, enough money to at least pay for, for this for this place, for my apartment. Um, I I have really never asked them to pay for, for this place because um, I still make money on YouTube enough to pay for, <laughs> for my rent, especially in a few months that I haven't uploaded, uploaded any videos. The money that I was making was only enough to pay for my apartment. So yes, I I'm a, I am also trying my best to be independent. I I always make sure not to rely to rely too much to my husband. I don't want him to feel pressure because he's already paying enough. He's um he's paying child support. He's paying for for the property that the the farmland. He's paying the rent. He's paying maid, and he's um. Is giving money for for groceries there's just a lot of expenses so as much as possible i i also try to help him even if it's just a little so yeah um you know just just small stuff like that it helps my you know your husband at least that just keeps on rely relying again also i'm the reason also, one of the reasons why I, I'm studying because I have a, I want to have a stable income in the near future. I don't want to be I don't want to be a burden and just keeps on asking cash for my for my partner. I don't like that at all. That's why hopefully someday I can become a nurse. <laughs> so the last one. Don't give the burden to your husband and feeding your entire family this is actually very very common to i'm not saying that it's wrong this is just my opinion guys don't be mad at me okay i'm just going to talk about this so there's this is actually very common a lot of um filipinas think that it is their husband's responsibility to to feed their entire family when in, when in fact it's not it it really is not um your your, because guys, you know, your family is not your husband's responsibility. So it's not the responsibility to feed your husband, to give their, your family money monthly. No, it's not. Unless if, um, um, what they call it, not unless they ask for it. If otherwise, don't, right? I, I just really don't like the idea that they're just relying your husband and feeding their their family i just don't like the idea that idea um um so so for timoy this never happens to him why because my parents never my parents are not like that no they're not like that i am also thankful for my parents that my father is still working even now but but of course hannah they're giving um before I was giving my mom, I mean my parents money, when I was still pregnant with them, pregnant with them we were giving them money monthly. But now that I'm married, it's um, the the help that what we can give them is very limited because we just have a lot of expenses now and we have a growing child. Um, we're paying for his milk, his clothes, 
and his um, diapers, diapers and milk care, it's expensive. That's why the, the help that we can give to my parents is very limited, unlike to how it used to be. But I am also thankful to my sister because um, she's giving my parents money. I, I mean, she's giving my, my parents money. I think it's weekly. Um, so yeah, that was just my my opinions about about your question. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video till the very end. Always remember that you are responsible for your every action that you make in your life. Please don't forget to pray and always take care. See you to my next vlog. Bye bye.